Hey, what is up guys, Mitch here. Now, I'm on vacation in Doral, right outside Miami, and I thought, why not make a top five travel tech video? So let's get right into it. So number one is the Apple Watch. Now, you may have noticed in my last video, it was actually about smartwatches being dead. But for me, I don't think they are right now, and I love them for traveling. Getting notifications on my wrist and just looking at them on my smartwatch makes it a lot easier than pulling out my phone and wasting battery on that. Especially when you're going to be away from an outlet for a long period of time, battery on your phone is very priceless. And you want to save it as much as possible, so using an Apple Watch or other kind of smartwatch is very useful. Now following up on that is the Anker 20,000 mAh battery. Now this is an external battery bank that's huge, it holds a ton of power, it can charge most iPhones and most other phones at least 10 times, and has two USB ports so you can share it with other people. Again, when you're traveling and going in and out of service areas, your, your phone is going to be using a lot of battery. And having something like this that allows you to have power anywhere is very useful. If you're running low on power, or if someone else is running low on power, you can lend them a battery and then they can charge up their phone. This is a great way to be very popular at an airport or on airplanes, but being able to charge up other people's phones when they don't have a charger themselves. It's not that large or that heavy for what it is, and it's not that expensive for how much battery capacity you're getting. This is something I definitely recommend to anybody, even if you're not traveling. Next up is the Bose QC35s. Now these are expensive, but if you're going to be traveling a lot, especially on airplanes, these are super useful. They're wireless through Bluetooth and can connect to two devices at once and switch between them intelligently. But the bigger thing is that they're noise cancelling, which is super useful on planes or on trains. Have you ever been on a plane or a train or something with a baby crying and there's no way to make them stop and the parent is oblivious or doesn't care? Then these kind of headphones are perfect for you. Drowning out any sound around you is what you really want on a plane if you want to get work done or anything else. Using these for long periods of time on long flights, listening to music or watching movies is perfect. If you travel a lot and are looking for a good pair of headphones, these are the ones to buy. Now in hotels, I'm pretty sure it's a requirement for half of the outlets in the entire room to not work. This is the Belkin 3 outlet surge protector that also has two built-in USB ports on the top. Now I recently picked this up for this trip and it's been super useful. In the room that we're staying in, there's two outlets not working and only one of the outlets works in the entire room. So plugging this in, you have three outlets as well as two additional USB ports that you can use for charging your phone or anything else you need to charge. I'm actually using this to plug a lamp into because I want to have the lamp, but it's not working in any of the other outlets. It's smaller than a normal power strip too, which is perfect for putting in a backpack when you're traveling. It's also under 20 bucks, so if you travel a lot or are looking for a smaller surge protector, this is a great pickup. Of course, all this stuff will be linked down below in the description, and let, let me know if there's anything you think that could be added to this travel collection. And now finally is my mouse of choice, the MX Master from Logitech. Now in the review video of it, I mentioned that I had some issues connecting to Bluetooth, but those seem to have been worked out, and now I'm using it as my go-to portable mouse. It's big for what it is, but it's super comfortable, and it easily fits in one of the water bottle pockets in my backpack. And when you're traveling, you want to be able to pick up your setup quickly, so having a wireless mouse is super convenient. The sensor is also great, it works on any surface, even the glass surface that I was using on a table. I haven't had any issues with tracking, and the battery seems to last forever, and it's rechargeable through micro USB. Again, this is an expensive mouse, but if you're looking for a great mouse and are willing to pay the price, this is a good pickup as well. And that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.